go Doctor Who. And if you don't, then you can go. Right, hello guys, we're watching Doctor Who, and today we're going to do a theory video. Did Stephen Moffat know about Doctor 13 before he was leaving? And did he know about the Timeless Child? Now, this is something you may go, obviously not. Why would he? There's little hints in Stephen Moffat's episodes to suggest otherwise. Now, basically, what we have to expect is that in the end of Series 9, by their husbands of River Song, Stephen Moffat wanted to leave. He couldn't leave because he didn't have a showrunner in mind. Um, he may have had Chris Chibnall in secret for Series 9 when he gives subtle hints of the Doctor being a woman when Missy was saying something in The Magician's Apprentice and so did um, the uh, 12th Doctor. But we're forgetting that. There's more things to be considered here. Series 10 finale. Peter Capaldi was like, I'm sure I was a man back then. I'm sure. Well, it might have been a woman. And Bill was going on the rooftop going, Flexible, reflexible on this subject, are you? And then Pete Crowley going on and on about time woods can be whatever they want and stuff like that in the Twice Upon a Time. With that into play, there was a subtle hint there that the Doctor was a woman before he was William Hartnell. Did Stephen Moffat plant that little hint into... Um, to the viewers, easing them into the process. I mean, do we need easing into a process? No. But, well, some do. Some still do. Because some people still give Jodie slack just because she's a woman. But a lot of people give her slack because they don't like a doctor. And that's fair enough. You know what? You don't like a doctor, you don't like a doctor. But there's some that give her slack for being a woman. And with that into play, um, maybe... Stephen Moffat felt it was his duty to give subtle nods, little threads, as much as he could. Now he knew maybe the Doctor was a woman. Uh, maybe he just knew that what Chris Chibnall's plan was by the end of Series 10. Maybe he wanted to nug it in. And then he nugged it in a little bit, a bit more with Doctor Falls. With, is it, is it going to be all girl in the future? We can only hope. Doctor Falls, with the Master saying that. And that's quite a good reference, but there's also twice upon a time where he referenced. I was sw I, I swear we were. Um, I was a girl or a boy back then. You know that little reference, not word by word, but there was a subtle hint there. And that's my theory. Yes, did he know that the third, the thirteenth Doctor was going to be a woman? Possibly the high chances. However, there's a more higher chance here that maybe he knew about the time as child. Now, how could he know about the Timeless Child? We didn't even get it until Series 12, and we only got a little hint from Series 11. If I was a Doctor Who fan, and I was running the show next, I'm pretty much sure I wouldn't want to ruin it. And if I have a big idea, as much as the Timeless Child, I would certainly consult in another Doctor Who fan to make sure I'm doing the right thing. And the mad, amazing, brilliant mind of Stephen Moffat went, yeah, do it. And I reckon he went to Chris, Chris Chibnall, went to Stephen Moffat and was like, what do you think of this? Is it okay? And Stephen Moffat knew. And he was like, yeah. And he couldn't help himself but give subtle nods of Chris Chibnall's five-year plan. And I reckon Stephen Moffat may know a little bit more as well for Series 13 and Series 14 of where Chris Chibnall's going to go next with the show. And maybe he even might know how it all might end. Yes, Stephen Moffat wants to say he doesn't know anything. He doesn't want to know anything. And that is something fair enough. And this is just a theory. But he has gave subtle hints, you know. Stephen Moffat gave a subtle hint. The Doctor was a girl but when he was, uh, when he was l younger. And he also gave hints, is it going to be all girl in the future, knowing he knew who was going to be next. Well, he didn't know who was going to be next, but he knew it was going to be a woman. So yes, there we go. That's my theory. Stephen Moffat knows about the Timeless Child and he also knows that the Doctor was going to be a woman when he was finishing Series 10. Um, and that's my theory. He knows the answer we don't yet. And I think Chris Chibnall was wise to consult with Stephen Moffat and where to go. 
Um, of course, it's Stephen Moffat, it's, it's Chris Chibnall's project, and rightfully so, that Stephen Moffat shouldn't overshadow that and say, oh, he might have helped tweet or anything, so he's going to keep quiet. But, yeah, I just think that basically he knew, and Chris Chibnall might have consulted with him about what was going to happen. So, yeah, that's my little video, that's my theory. It's a weird one, I just had it when I was watching someone review, well, um, a woman who fell to earth. And when the woman fell to earth, they mentioned uh, the 12th Doctor um, being... No, they didn't like the idea of uh, 13th Doctor saying, oh, I bought clothes. Uh, when I've ne I haven't bought clothes for a woman in a long time. And they didn't like that idea. And I thought, well, it's obviously referencing the 3rd Doctor. But they could also be referencing the Timeless Child, now we know more. But, yeah. And then I thought, what else links to the Timeless Child? And... Doctor Falls and Twice Upon a Time definitely do with them little references. So yeah, that's my theory, that's my video, and yeah, that's where my mind's at. Stephen Muffet knows, and we don't, and he's keeping quiet, hopefully so he should. And that's just a theory, it may be a bad theory, it may be a really bad one. But yeah, what do you guys think? Did he know? And yeah, I'll see you guys for another video very soon, every Saturday on the channel. Thank you for hitting us 200 subscribers. That's amazing. That's brilliant. Can't believe it. I literally, wow, we've hit 200 subscribers on the channel. That is brilliant. And let's let's join more on the journey. Continue joining us on Go Doctor Who on the journey of a lifetime. Let's review, talk, anything about Doctor Who. I'll see you guys for another video though soon. Have a nice day.